Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of the DM104S. Looking at it, you could say, oh, right, right away, it is an FPV flyer. It has a camera on front, and as you can see that I have a phone attached to my transmitter, you could say, yes, this is a Wi-Fi FPV flyer. It is a Whoop clone styled quadcopter. It looks pretty cool. I like this cowling and candy, candy apple red uh, cowling on it. Um, it is powered by 300 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt battery. I believe these are... Actually, these might be 7 millimeter motors. I'm not sure. They're, there's no, Yeah, I think they might be 7 millimeter motors. I'll put up here in the top here what size they are because they look a little bit uh, big for 6 millimeters. <laughs> so it should have some power on it. Um, other than that, again, it is a 2.4 gigahertz FP, Wi-Fi FPV flyer. It uses uh, Wi-Fi UFO uh, available on Google Play and iTunes to uh, provide the FPV video and record the FPV video to your phone. I believe it is 720p FPV video. We'll find that out here shortly also. So let's go over the transmitter before we go into a flight of this. This is its transmitter. Button up here is for different rates, beginner, intermediate, expert. This is for flips or one key return if you hold it down. If you want to enter headless mode, you press into the pitch roll stick. And if you want to take off, you know, this is centered stick here on the throttle, so that tells you right away we have an altitude hold flyer. And if you want to do a takeoff or landing, you press this button here to do such, automatic takeoff and landings. Um, the others are uh, actually just trim buttons. <laughs> this should be yaw trim. This should be throttle trim. I don't know if they actually work. This would be pitch trim, and this would be roll trim. So let's fire it up, uh, open up the app, and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Do three, two, one. To start it up, you plug it in right there and turn on its transmitter. And what we're going to do first, what we should do first, is bind it. And let's do an automatic takeoff. Go upwind a bit, and then I'm going to turn off the transmitter. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. It'll land itself. So that is good. We don't have to worry about flyaways. So let's rebind it again and point it off in that direction. And see if we can start the motors and stop the motors by down and up. We can. Okay, I'm going to open up the Wi-Fi UFO app and we'll continue with FPV flying. Okay, this is the Wi-Fi UFO app. Again, available on Google Play and iTunes. I'm going to hit play. And see what type of video we got here. There's our FPV video. I'm going to go back out because I want to check one thing first. Hitting settings. And making sure it's preview 720p is turned on. That way we got 720p video. Hitting play again. And waiting to it for it to come up again, the FPV video. We got FPV. Doing automatic. Actually, I'm going to higher rate because we have a little bit of wind. I'm going to go to the second rate. Automatic takeoff. Whoa, <laughs> that second rate is very aggressive for a second rate. Third rate. Full pitch into the wind. Fast little thing. <laughs> Going downwind, that is. <laughs> now let me look at the video here. Coming back at me again. Taking it there. Let's try flips. Going upwind a bit. There's the flips. I was in one key return there. Left flip. Forward flip. Those it's flips. Let's go up here and press the one key return. One key return. Oops, that's not the headless mode direction. I guess I was pointed off in that direction there. Pressing one key return. Here it comes back again. And it seems to be in headless mode once you go into one key return. There's this one key return again. Keeping in mind, okay, it's not in headless mode. It's in normal flight mode. But going upwind or going down the headless mode direction, one key return one more time. And here it comes back. Again, one key return is not a true return to home, folks. It just flies the opposite direction the quadcopter was pointed when it took off, which it is doing right now. Okay, let's try headless mode. Headless mode, and activate it. Pushing forward, pushing to the right, and yawing. And 
trying to bring myself into view. There I am. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is turn it around this way so the sun's at my back. <laughs> Bringing it to the right. Yeah. Pulling it back. This confuses me. Headless mode always does. Coming out of headless mode. Going back to normal flight mode. <laughs> Turning it this way. Okay, going to lower rate too. That high rate turning of this, it has a very high yaw rate on it. So, but that's, I want to turn this way and say, I like my shirt today, folks. <laughs> so, there it is. <laughs> Going forward. Okay, I do see a lot of Wi-Fi stutter on this, you know, Wi-Fi lag. Um, it breaks up occasionally. But that's to be expected with Wi-Fi flyers. So let's bring it in closer again. And one more flip. And it goes up and it, and it drops a bit and then it's altitude hold brings it right back up to its original altitude. So we're gonna go upwind a bit again. Got a little bit of a breeze here. And flip forward. <laughs> I didn't do, did nothing folks. You know, it does a little bit of a wobble to the ground so has a little bit of vortex ring state and that can be expected too because these props are very very tiny look at that <laughs> tiny props there so they have to spin in very high rate to give it lift but that can also lead to entering vortex ring state there if you let's go up higher and we'll try it from up high a flip oh don't want to flip no more and i see the red lights blinking so coming, there's a little bit of vortex ring state. Let's see how much flight time we get out of it because we have LVC warning. As I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's this red light blinking right there. Coming down a little lower. And I think that's the end of the flight. And let's hit landing. So that's the flight of this DM104S. <laughs> Let me hit did I even record any video? I hope I did. Probably not. I'm recording it right now so you can see what the video looks like. Um, there. <laughs> Although I did get uh, some video off of uh, using um, my screen recorder program. But I'm going to show you the video right now in my hand while I'm fly holding it. This is its video, folks. I'm just going to focus it around the field here. I'm not sure if it's 720p or not. We'll find out in post-production. But that's what its video looks like. So, um, again, this is a little FPV flyer, Wi-Fi FPV flyer, uh, the M104S. So, I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out. Mm -hmm.